Hey, the guys, we know here. Um, so I wanted to revisit one of my older videos. I think, let me, hold on, let me um, move this. Top 16 games I want to LP, and it's even not even a top list. You'll hear me explain that in a second. But um, why I'm recording this is because uh, recently Petonios commented on this video saying, hey, you know, do you, uh, do you plan to still record some of these or want to record some of these and my answer is maybe so I decided to basically revisit this video in today's vlog and kind of rewatch it give some feedback give some updated uh, info on a lot of these LPs but uh yeah should be interesting I've never actually revisited one of my videos before so uh, I guess this will be the first of maybe a few if there's ever a video that I like give a lot of like personal or channel or any kind of information on feel free to tell me if i should revisit it and i will i'll rewatch it live like this and actually uh give my live commentary on it on uh on youtube itself so let's get our mic our mic our mouse cursor over there um yeah let's uh let's listen to me uh how many years ago was this i don't even remember um i'll probably check it as soon as i'm done here but this must have been a few years ago, at least, uh, back before I even had a lot of LPs up on my channel, I think, but I'm not sure how old exactly because I didn't check that beforehand. But anyways, let's get into it. Let's uh, let's watch this old piece of crap and uh, let's hear about my shitty old opinions, shall we? And I will give you a, I'll I'll pause and put give input on my shitty opinions as we go along. So yeah. Um, let's get this started, right? Is we and Eo here? If you saw my post on Facebook, then you knew that this was coming. This is my top. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I am way louder than him. I am way louder than him. Uh, silence detection. Interesting. Hmm. Well, sorry guys, I was doing that live. Um, I was trying to figure out uh, how to make myself, or how to make the video louder, but uh, I guess what I'll have to do is, um, I guess I'm going to have to make myself quieter as I now did and uh, make the video louder and edit, so... Yeah, whatever. 16 lists of games that I would like to LP. Now, as a disclaimer for this list, you need to know that this isn't exactly a top anything list. It's more of just a list, but top lists are more fun, so sucks to your ass, Mark. Why 16? Ah. Because I... That is a uh, Lord of the Flies reference. Fun times. I hate perfect numbers. Actually, 16 can be split into two eights, and that could be split into four fours, and that can be... Never mind. Let's just get started. Fun fact, I had that argument with my wife a little while ago, why I consider some not even numbers even numbers. Like, I consider five an even number. I know that's really stupid, but I consider five an even number because five and five make ten, things like that. You know, everything divisible by five just feels even to me. I don't know why, because my wife is huge on even numbers, and I'm just one of those people that's just like, well, I consider a five an even number if it ends in a five or something like that. I don't know. It's it's a weird quirk I've always had. I know it's an odd number, but I feel like it fits in with even numbers really well. Anyways, enough of that shit. Number 16, more blind games. Don't like how broad of a generalization that is? Too bad. I couldn't find a good picture for blind games online. When you look it up, you either get pictures of hentai or of Kenshi. For the sake of YouTube, we'll go with Kenshi on this one. Also, you should know what I mean yeah. by more blind games. It's not really something I need to explain too much. Number 15. More blind games. I've always been torn between that as an LP -er on whether I should focus more as being uh, someone who LPs blind games or new games. But I've always felt like games that I know my shit about always seem to do better. They always seem to get... Uh, more views and I get more feedback and comments on them whereas blind games I get more help obviously but I don't know I feel like I'm always like fumbling around I feel like it makes LP longer than it should be but 
Sorry, I keep looking over there because that's where my webcam and this whole recording is going on, but the actual video I have playing over here. So that's why I'm looking over here, but talking over here. It, you'll understand one day when you're older. Anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, very, very broad generalization there of more blind games, but I still do want to do more blind games, and I am doing one, as a matter of fact, right now, Dead Rising 3. And who knows, maybe there will be more blind games in the future, but I've more recently I've been sticking to my guns and not doing so much blind stuff and I don't know if that's good or bad for the channel I guess it'll, time will tell that a bad game again with generalization no Ricochet is not a bad, bad game Ricochet is actually well it's my game of the year so far but that's not the point I always have had this idea in the back of my head that it's uh, you know a bad game would just be hilarious to LP and I think that holds true um, well with how many games are out there that are terrible, so who knows, maybe one day. Serena was a bad game. Um, Far Cry 3 was a bad game. No, I shouldn't go that far. I'm sorry, Far Cry fans. Uh, but <laughs> I gave that spiel so many times in that LP. Um, I don't think Far Cry 3 is a bad game. I think it's an okay game that does a lot of first-person shooter things very averagely. It doesn't have any distinction to make it different from any other open world first person shooter game, shall we say, other than the aesthetics or the environment or the setting, rather. Um, so in, in that regards, I don't think it's a great game. I don't think it deserves as much praise as it got. I don't think it deserves the quotation of Skyrim with guns that it got. I thought it was just an okay game. Would not play again. Um, now, a bad game? Uh, LPing a bad game is kind of difficult. I would never solo LP a bad game. I would always have a co-commentator there, whether it be Zach, uh, Jimmy, Sean, or my wife even. Um, I need a co-commentator there because <laughs> bouncing comedy off of uh, the game itself is really easy when you're playing a funny game or playing a game that you know a lot about or something like that. Um, and then when you're blind, a lot of the humor in an LP comes from your fumbleness or your just straight up reactions or just your unknowingness of what's going to happen. And so I feel like with a bad game, yeah, you can kind of treat it like how you'd watch a bad movie and bounce off of its terribleness to make jokes about it. But everything is always improved by co-commentating and I still stand by that and it's just I don't know I feel like a co-commentator is so easy to bounce off of with jokes and with humor so I feel like that would help in every element so if I ever did an LP a bad game intentionally because Serena was an unintentional LP of a bad game uh, I would have to I would co-commentate it Number 14, Mega Man. Now when I say Mega Man, I mean the series as a whole. The problem with LPing that is that the series is long as fuck. So I'd probably just stick to what's best rather than what makes the series complete. That is a picture of me in a bowling alley in high school with a patch of Sour Patch Kids. A patch? A pack of Sour Patch Kids. It was a fun night, and because my last name is long, long as fuck. You get the joke. Number 13, Ser Whoa, I didn't even pay attention to what the fuck he just said. This motherfucker over here. Um, Mega Man series. What did I say about it? Hold on. Whoa. Let me go back on that a little bit. 14, Mega Man. Now when I say Mega Man, I mean the series as a whole. The problem with LPing that is that the series is long as fuck. So I'd probably just stick to what's best rather than what makes the series complete. Number three. Okay. If I ever LP'd the Mega Man series, I'd probably LP... I'd probably LP... I'd probably LP Mega Man like one through... like three or four because uh, they drop drastically in quality once you start to hit the uh, six sevens and eights and nine and ten were good those were modern day classic made Mega Man games um one day maybe but if i were to lp a Mega Man series and i had the choice between the regular one or any other one I would probably pick either Mega Man X or the Battle Network series because, honestly, I just feel like those are better takes on the Mega Man genre. 
get my mouse cursor the fuck out of there. Um, mainly Mega Man X. I think Mega Man X is far superior than Mega Man. And the Battle Network series is also pretty fun as well, but not at all how a regular, regular Mega Man game is played. So that's my take on that. Maybe one day, but it would be the Mega Man X series probably. 13, Serious Sam series. Too many S's. So yeah, series are now a thing. This has come up a few times in the past because the Serious Sam games are just awesome. Just mindless shooting a bagillion bad guys against you with a slew of awesome weapons to deal with them. The problem with this is that it would be hard to commentate because it's just pure action and there wouldn't be a lot to comment on. Serious Sam 3 coming soon to a theater near you. Or rather, should I say, to an LP channel on here on you, we and you, just a page near you. Anyway, joke ruined. Um, the whole bit about it being hard to commentate, it's a lot easier to commentate than I originally thought back then. Because I always thought that the Mega Man, or pff, the Serious Sam series would be difficult. Because like I said, there's a lot of dead air in there. And if you watch my LPs, there's a lot of dead air in there. Of uh, just me shooting things. And I'm focused so much on living that I'm just like, well, I don't even know what's going on. And that makes sense, you know. Um, that's probably what you should expect going into a shoot 'em up kind of game like that. But I felt like it was really easy to LP for some reason. I felt like it just it flowed really naturally with all the action and things like that. And a lot of people say like that's why like Mega Man games and things like that are good to LP is because the constant action gives you constantly something to talk about or say. Like, granted, I'm not going as much into joking when I play Serious Sam games or anything like that. I'm more so talking about, man, I almost died back there. Or, man, this shit is intense. Like, that's 90% of my commentary is talking about in the now of the game rather than the, just talking in general. So, I don't know. I feel like uh, it turned out better than I thought. And Serious Sam 3, I am very looking forward to LPing eventually. But... We'll see. Number 12, the Kingdom Hearts series. Kingdom Hearts is one of those amazing series that falls under Half-Life category. The third Kingdom Hearts game is on the list of shit we've been waiting for too fucking long for. <coughs> Valve. <coughs> Square Enix. Either way, I love these games and would want to do the series. Wait! Does that mean PSP and DS games alike win you? I don't know. I can't see the future. I can see the future because now I'm living in it. Um, the point of my spiel there, Half-Life 3 I don't think is ever going to come out. Kingdom Hearts 3, I think, looks pretty okay so far, what they've showed. I mean, Kingdom Hearts games have always been pretty iffy on the combat system. They're, they're, whoo, they are hit and miss <laughs> uh, when it comes to them. But, uh, would I LP the Kingdom Hearts series? You have no idea how much I want to do that. Um, I would love to LP the Kingdom Hearts series. And now, with, um, the introduction of the uh, PS3 HD re-releases, re -releases, you can now do that in a quite an easy way. You can even LP ones you didn't even want to play, like uh, Kingdom Hearts Coded. But I think that's just cutscenes or something. Either way. And same thing with 356 and a half days or whatever it is. Uh, would I LP them? Yes, I would love to LP them. And I have a good idea for a naming theme too for episode names and things like that. Um, and again, it's a, it's a series of games that I know a lot about because I've played through them so many times. And um, I don't know. I feel like it's just, a, it's just a matter of getting to the point where I can comfortably LP one of those games. Because I need like a lot of... like I need a big downpour in content where I'm just like... I have no idea what to LP. Let me pick something that's going to take an entire year to LP. And there you have Kingdom Hearts. It probably wouldn't take that long. You never know. As a series, it would take a while, though. That's a lot of games. It's like six games to play through. And I couldn't play through Dream Drop Distance because, well, there's a whole, uh, the whole problem with it being a 3DS-only game. So, and... I'm not paying, like, what, it's like $100, $200 to ship my 3DS off to somewhere in Bangladesh to get some Indian kid to install $200 microchip in it so that it can be emulated? I don't think so. People who emulate 3DS games are insane to go through that amount of effort just for a YouTube channel. Like, uh, that's dedication, I'll give them that. 
but just wait for a 3DS emulator to be invented. It's bound to happen eventually. Handhelds happen so fast. Consoles are the real problem on emulation. Not that I condone emulation, but I kind of do with modern day, not with modern day games. That's basically pirating, but come on, you know, everyone does it. We just don't talk about it. Number 11, the Mother series. I love the Mother series. All the games in it have so much heart and emotion to their stories and are easily some of the funniest games I have ever, well, played. And of course, the problem here lies in the fact that I would want to do the first one. What's the problem with that? Well, it came out in 89. Kids these days will go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for that, and not in a good way. Number The Mother series. Talk about another series that's been on my list of I want to play through these games for a long time. And even then, Earthbound, I have a few episodes of. And honestly, to get... Honest to God, there's a lot of really funny moments in that uh, short series that was my Earthbound LP that was never completed because <sighs> no one was watching it. So, um, that's the only reason I've ever stopped two LPs, I think. Earthbound I stopped because no one was watching it, and I stopped Donkey Kong Country 3 because no one was watching it. And so... I don't know. It's just one of those things of... I feel like I have a more generalized and broader audience now with my subscribers. More dedicated fans, definitely, than I did back then. Not saying I didn't appreciate the dedicated fans that I did have back then. But I had... I didn't have as big of a crowd to kind of just get people to dip into different things with. And, you know, if I LP'd an Earthbound game nowadays or Mother or Donkey Kong Country 3, I'm sure some people would watch, you know bits of it because I feel like I have an audience at this point where people aren't really watching for the game per se they're watching for my commentary on said game which of course you should watch any LP for that but you don't get into LPs for the commentary you get into it for the games they LP so I don't know um, now regarding doing the first mother game it did come out in 1989 and it is dated as fuck they are making updated versions of it though they're in the process of being made. I don't think I'm ever going to, you know, wait for around for that to happen. Um, and then there's the whole, the easy patch with the, uh, the easy ring that you find in the basement. I would definitely use that because, um, the game is way too grindy without it. And it's, it wouldn't be fun to watch. I could tell you that much. So I would definitely use that. And it wouldn't actually even be that long of an LP because I, heck, I sat down and beat it in one weekend when I was uh, sick one weekend. I just emulated it. Talking about emulation again, I emulated it on my laptop and I just played through it and it was fun and shit. And, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe sometime soon, maybe not. Who knows? But, uh, no. Yeah. Definitely still on the list. Definitely going to do that still. It's just a matter of getting around a dated-ass 1989 game. Number 10, The Sims 2 or 3. I can't say whether this would be a good idea or not. I plan to do The Sims 2 way back when. Hell, I even have a gaming vlog where I'm building something and talking about doing an LP of it. This is one of those things that seems like a good idea, but I would need to see a crowd reaction upon doing it. It might be horribly awesome or horribly horrible. Hey, let's all reminisce and remember the time when I LP'd The Sims 3. Yeah, didn't happen. Um... There's a reason for that. I never LP'd The Sims 3 because I think for the exact reason I say I would need to see a crowd reaction to that because really that is not the type of game you just LP and are like cool dude, this is fun this is awesome that's not how it works um, because <laughs> there's no end game to The Sims really if you think about it and I know people LP it all the time they're like well I'm just going to live a Sims life that's probably exactly what I would do but it's it gets a little bit more complicated than that when you're talking about The Sims because there's so much more to do especially if you have all the expansion packs installed then it's just it's a massive game full of so many things to do and I wouldn't even know how to approach that <laughs> so yeah I think your best bet for Sims 2, Sims 3, or even Sims 4 LP, I don't even own the Sims 4 because I was like, after the Sims 3, I'm tired of getting screwed over by this expansion pack business. I'll wait until all the expansion packs for Sims 4 come out and then I'll buy it. I would say no more will I ever do an LP of the Sims 2 or 3. I would probably do a Let's Sit Down With though. 
with Zach or something. Because me and Zach have a ton... Talk about story time. All my story time vlogs have been about Second Life up to this point. I can start a whole second series of The Sims things that just weird shit that I've seen in the AI happen in the game and things like that. And I used to play around with editing files and editing the uh, the the cheat codes and uh, <laughs> editing the cheat codes. I sound like an old guy, an old guy, an old man, an old fart rather. And uh, I used to hack game files and stuff like that and edit things. And it was always always led to crazy ass results but uh yeah maybe maybe i'll tell stories about some of that stuff uh on a let's sit down with eventually but probably not anytime soon unfortunately number nine ratchet and clank trilogy this refers to the first three games in the series this popped into my head a few days ago and i was just sitting there thinking of how much i want to play these games again and how awesome it would be to lp them no less awesome games awesome series i hate james arnold taylor number i still hate james arnold taylor he's the sole reason why I don't think Final Fantasy X did that well. But let's bygones be bygones. Whenever I hear James Arnold Taylor appear in anything, I say out loud, I fucking hate James Arnold Taylor. I don't think he's a good voice actor. Anyway, um, besides all that, besides my hate for James Arnold Taylor, um, Ratchet and Clank, ooh, that would be so much fun to LP. So cool and so great. So awesome. But I sound like Jimmy Fallon. Uh, I think now's not the time for that. I don't know why I say that. I just, I'm not feeling it right now. I guess I felt it back then in my loins, but in my loins right now aren't feeling it. Um, definitely someday, because I, that's another game that I know, I know a lot about the first one and the second one, and then beyond that, like the third one and forward, I, I, I'm, I would be completely lost because I know the games changed dramatically uh, from sequel to sequel. Not like a lot, but kind of, you know. So, I don't know, man. That would be tough. Whew. I'd probably buy the, the PlayStation 4 remake uh, or PlayStation 3 or 4 remake of all of them, and I would play those. But, uh, yeah. Either way. I think the movie's going to be a total fuck shit, and I can't even explain what a fuck shit is right now, but it's going to be one. It's not going to be good, I guarantee you that. The kids are going to love it, but everyone who knows what Ratchet and Clank is is going to hate it. I'm willing to bet. And James Arnold Taylor's in it, so I automatically have to hate it. Number eight, point and click games. This has been coming up a lot recently as well, whether it be Monkey Island or Mist. I've talked about doing more of these in the past. The problem with this is how to LP it. A blind point and click game would take a long time, but I could edit out puzzle solving, but then it'd just be, you know, ass. Or I could just play one I've played and not really have any puzzle solving in it at all, but it'd feel more like a walkthrough at that point. I could not have put it better myself still in the future. Uh... How would you LP a point-and-click adventure game? Like, you either go in it blind and have some ungodly puzzle solving that would take sometimes months to figure out, or you go in it knowing everything and it's basically a walkthrough, and at that point, why are you uploading this? Because someone else can just go watch someone else's upload or walkthrough or whatever. Um... Okay, so it's not a, it's not so grayscale as that. It's not so black and white as what I just said, but it essentially falls on that issue of um, you either know too much or you know too little. If you know too much, it's almost pointless. If you know too little, it's going to take too long, and there's going to be a ton of butt clenching. So it's like, what do you do about that? It's a it's a tough thing. You could do like a Monkey Island syndrome with me right now, where I've played through the game, I know everything, but I haven't done it in a long time, so I feel like I would hit some, uh, I'd hit some issues here and there, or e even more so with the Monkey Island remake. There's a there's a straight up hint button that tells you where to go or what to do if you press it enough. So I think. Um, Maybe one day again, pretty soon, maybe, I'll do a point-and-click adventure game. And I own a 101 point-and-click adventure games. Like, I don't I don't show my Steam list very often, 
but I have a lot of games on Steam. And then I have GOG Galaxy for good old games. That is just loaded to the fucking brim with point-and-click adventure games. So I don't even... Whew, especially if I'm LPing like a classic Sierra one. Oh my god. And I, if I know nothing about it, it would take forever to do. And I would be safe stating every step of the way. It would be that bad. So I don't know, guys. It's a tough one. It's a tough uh, nut to crack there. The point and click adventure game dilemma that I have in my head with uh, LPing them. Maybe someday, but. If people really want to see it, then they really want to see it. And I've been told once that someone would want to see a missed LP out of me. I don't know how well that would go. Because <laughs> Mist is one of the more complicated point-and-click adventure games out there. Like, you got to write shit down for that. And I don't know if I'm, if I'm ready for that kind of commitment, you know? So, who knows? Maybe someday. Let me know in the comments how you feel about any of these things. Number 7, Half-Life 2. This keeps coming up because it's an amazing game that has been done to death. To make my LP different, I'd probably play through the mod Synergy. This would mean co-oping it. That's different, right? I want to finish the Half-Life series because it feels like a pie I've eaten half of and then just left sitting on the counter. Now mice and house cats have come by and nibble at it every once in a while. Number six, Minecraft. Whoa. Slow down, fucking Peppy Le Pew. Uh, Half-Life 2. So, maybe to make it different, I wouldn't do Synergy. Maybe I would do something known as the Cinematic Mod. That makes uh, gives it a whole HD graphical rehaul, which is exactly what I did. Um, and finally, I started doing that, and it did really well. It uh, People got a great reception out of it, and it did phenomenally. Um, and I'm looking to start that up again pretty soon here. Um, I think I'll wait for one of my LPs to be done, though, because we currently technically have four going on right now um and unfortunately none of them are near endings so uh maybe within like a month or two depends i think the closest lpi i have to being done is san andreas and let me tell you i'm nowhere near done with that so who knows maybe uh maybe dead rising 3 will be shorter than i thought uh I don't know. Either way, we'll uh, we'll talk about that at some other point. But it's just like Series Sam Three. Series Sam Three will happen probably as soon as one of my other LPs end, and that'll finish off the Series Sam series. But you know, that's just waiting for LPs to end to continue series that we've already started. Number six, Minecraft. Honestly, why haven't I played more Minecraft? I've had the idea for mini series, second playthroughs, all sorts of stuff. Sadly, I really want to get back to this so I can do my mystical second run, but the time has to be right. And, well, I also have had about five people tell me they want to be a part of this next playthrough. Once again, I guess we'll see. Number five. <sighs> Minecraft. So, I did do a second playthrough, Minecraft Friends, till the end. Uh, I guess you could technically consider that as a still ongoing LP, but, uh... We don't record a whole lot of Minecraft friends till the end, in case you haven't noticed. And actually, Minecraft's gotten an update since we started that, where yes, they added content, so we would have to have a brand new world. Um, so getting over that hurdle is basically the biggest contingency with that. And the hardest part about recording Minecraft friends till the end is lining up three people's schedules. Um, let alone mine. Lining up Sean's is hard enough too because he works a full time job as well. So, uh, maybe pretty soon we will start up Minecraft Friends till the end again. Um, it's just a matter of finding time to record that shit, and it is few and far between to find time to record that shit, let me tell you. So, uh, it's just a matter of recording more of it. it it'll be like basically just this background LP that's ongoing on my s channel for like forever. <laughs> until it ends because I upload it when I have it recorded same thing with Lego Harry Potter that's I upload it when me and my wife record it so uh that's tough I'll tell you it's tough but uh maybe more of that in the future that's up to Sean and Jimmy I have Terraria any Terraria haters in the crowd well too bad if you ask someone what Terraria is and they say a 2d Minecraft tell them I said Uncle Joey has a surprise for them in the shower that's more relevant now that Fuller House is a thing. 
that's such a I haven't played the game but want to make accusations about it thing to say. And we all do it. Don't lie. The thing about Terraria is that it's so much I think I do that about like heavy rain and stuff like that. Talk shit about it because it's a <laughs> because it's a you know, a David Cage game. It's more than Minecraft. Whoa! But that doesn't make it a better game. Terraria is a better game than Minecraft. I'm sorry. I want to co-op LP this at some point, and it's been on a list of games that I need to play more often. Terraria. Let's talk about Terraria. I wanted to do a co-op series of Terraria, but um, again, with Jimmy and Sean, as funny enough as that is, but it never really took off. Um, because I think one of the big problems with Terraria now is I know too much about it, and the rest of my friends know too little about it. So they play it, and they're like, why is this fun? And I'm like, oh, you know, because of the late game. <sighs> kind of like when you first start out in Minecraft. Why is it fun? Why is it fun to dig around in holes and build stuff? Uh, well, even less so in Terraria, because you have even less creative freedom because you're confined to a 2D space, and you're essentially building houses for your villagers rather than a home for yourself. Um, so Terraria is a little bit difficult to talk about because there's so many things I want to say about it. And it's been updated a lot recently because at one point they said, we're not going to update it anymore. And then they were like, yeah, we're totally going to update it now because we gave up on Starbound. And um, Starbound's a piece of shit. And so now... They are slowly adding more and more stuff to Terraria. Uh, again, maybe one day I'll do something on Terraria. Uh, but it, it definitely won't be me alone. I will love... I would love to have somebody else do it with me. But of course, that's kind of difficult. Because like I said, I don't have any friends really who see any entertainment value in it anymore. Because they've played it for about an hour and they've been like, this isn't fun. And, heck, the first hour I played Minecraft, I was like, this isn't fun. But then I later got into it. So, you never know. Maybe one day. Who knows? I don't know. I doubt it, to be honest. But it's always been a dream of mine to have a Terraria LP. To aspire to the uh, Jesse Cox Total Biscuit Terraria LP. To be better. To be as good as, maybe, than them. But, who knows? Probably not going to happen. Number four, the Modern Warfare series. All right, get your knickers out of the knot they're currently in because I'm going to drop some knowledge on your brown ass. Unless you're quite pale, but brown. never mind. The Modern Warfare series is good. Damn good. People fart about how they're just the same game or just generic FPS games. Well, you're right. They still kick ass, though. They're very simplistic first-person shooters with not a lot of variety. But since when was this a bad thing? Since Far Cry 3 came out. I find myself smiling like a schoolgirl when I play through the campaigns of these games. As long as the game is fun, it's worth playing. They aren't the greatest games out, but they sure as shit are above average, and this applies to all Call of Booty games. I could rant about this for years, but now isn't the place. Let's have a mini rant, shall we? About my changed opinions now that I'm older. Um, not that much older, but still opinions change. Uh, will I ever do an LP of the Modern Warfare series, like story mode wise? I really don't think so. Um, not that, again, not that they're bad games, um, but they are very generic first-person shooters that don't do a whole lot to differentiate themselves, much like Far Cry 3. Um, the problem about this is that, uh, <sighs> it's a Modern Warfare series, and I own, I think, the first and second one. Do I own the third one? I think so. I'm not sure. Either way, I played through them all when they came out, and I love them. I love the story mode. I don't love the multiplayer. I can tell you that much. I hate multiplayer, and I hate the kids who run around and play Call of Duty and scream and rant about it and how great it is. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's, uh, I don't know. It would feel like a waste of time on my channel at this point with how many other games that I have lined up that I could potentially want to be doing, to LP a Modern Warfare game would feel like such a huge waste of time. Because it's just, yeah, you're getting my generic-ass take on uh, 
on a modern warfare game big whoop i mean i don't know it's a it seems pointless now that i'm older so probably won't ever happen anymore Number three, a GTA game. This is probably going from Vice City forward, mind you. It's not that the third one is bad, it's just nothing compared to Vice City and beyond. This is a game I would want to LP due to the soon-to-be-released Grand Theft Auto V. Also, Bully is probably my most popular LP. I think these games are all fantastic and would be amazing to LP. What, expect me to say more? Sorry. Number no, I don't expect you to say more because you summed it up quite nicely. Um, yes, I have LP'd Vice City, and I'm currently LPing San Andreas. And after that, I will LP Grand Theft Auto 4, um, and then continue on to Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, the problem with um, my old rant there is that Grand Theft Auto 3, I don't consider a good game. Not that my opinion has changed, it's almost like I was just afraid to say it back then. All those fanboys of Grand Theft Auto 3 nowadays. But uh, I don't think Grand Theft Auto 3 is a good game. I think the difficulty tuning on it is way overtuned. Um, what else did I say that, that was poignant? Oh, Bully being my most popular LP. It is. Uh, that and Grab by the Ghoulies. But I think it was popular because it was blind, and there's not a lot of Bully LPs on YouTube. At least not until I came around and did it. Same thing with Grab by the Ghoulies. Like, there's a guy named Petey Piranha who is uh, way more famous than me. He was famous on YouTube because of his Grab by the Ghoulies LP. And then I came around, and I LP'd uh, Grab by the Ghoulies, and now my LP, I think, is more famous than his. And I think I have the most famous LP of Grab by the Ghoulies on YouTube. If not, it's because Rare Replay came out. So, it, because Rare Replay came out, probably someone more famous has done it now, and probably has knocked my uh, LP off of its high horse. Number two, Paper Mario series. What happens when you take a super simple RPG style, a popular franchise, amazing art styles, great environments, funny shit, and a glorious facial hair? Well, Paper Mario, of course. I've wanted to do the original Paper Mario for quite some time now, but really the series shines when it comes to Thousand Year Door. I wouldn't say more. I would say more, but my fingers and voice are getting tired at this point. Good game. Want to play? That's a shitty reason to not commit to giving a big spiel about Paper Mario, you son of a bitch. My voice hurts right now, and I don't even want to be doing this anymore. But, uh... Ooh, man. <sighs> Excuse me. Paper Mario. Before I do Paper Mario, I would do... Super Mario RPG. Because, technically, that is the beginning of the Mario RPG series, and Super Mario RPG is so good. And uh, Paper Mario is so good, too. And then you get the Thousand Year Door. Here's the problem with Thousand Year Door. There's no easy way to play Thousand Year Door anymore. Because that's the GameCube generation. So, of course, you can delve into emulation. Emulation with anything beyond the 16 or 64-bit era has a lot of uh, graphical bugs and issues that start to come up with it um, because it starts running off of GPUs and stuff like that and starts to get to some really high pixel counts and things like that and it's just like computer can't process these 3D graphics or whatever um, and people's ROMs get all fucked up when they're uh, converting the game into a ROM so uh, Paper Mario I actually tested a ROM of that a little while ago a thousand year door on GameCube and it didn't work out too well. There's a lot of graphical issues, which of course I can look into and try to fix, but that's a little too much work. I'd rather wait until Nintendo gets off their fucking asses and releases it on virtual console or something like that. But uh until then, I guess we'll see. Uh I would love to do Super Mario RPG and I would love to do the original Paper Mario and eventually Thousand Year Door. Um and you might be saying, well, just buy a copy of Thousand Year Door on Amazon. Pretty sure that son of a bitch goes for a lot more money than you might think, Mr. Uh, whatever your face is. So let me open up a new window here. Uh, let me go over here to Amazon. Oh. 
Paper Mario in all departments, of course. They're like, hey, you want to buy Paper Jam? No, nobody wants to buy Paper Jam, goddammit. No, nobody wants to buy fucking Sticker Star either because they're all pieces of shit. You don't know what your core audience even fucking wants anymore nowadays, Nintendo, because you're so blind to your own shit. A copy of Thousand Year Door goes for about $100 nowadays. Wow. Seriously? Or if you go into used, wow, that's intense. If you buy it new, new, it'll cost you about a hundred dollars. That's ridiculous, kids. What the heck? Um, I don't know why we're looking at this together, guys. Fun times, right? $48 with $4.65 shipping is your best bet for used, even. So you're paying full price as it was back in the day. What the fuck's the point? That's some dated ass shit. But I guess because they're like, oh, well, people don't make it anymore. Get the fuck out of here. What the hell is that all about? Who wants to buy that? My god. I'd have more fun playing Super Paper Mario. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Sorry about that. Little tangent. Um, so yeah. Thousand Year Door would be a little bit more difficult. Because I'm not sure I want to pay $50 for a GameCube game. Granted it is Thousand Year Door. So who knows. Maybe someday. Maybe not. I know Zack still owns it. So I might just borrow his copy. Who knows? Anyway, let's continue, shall we? Um, oops. Wrong screen. Number one, the grand finale, A Legend of Zelda game. Oh boy, I've wanted to do one of these games since the dawn of my channel, but I've never really committed to actually doing it thus far. Of course, all these games are so overdone that even Mario 64 is jealous of the attention it gets. I would want to start with Ocarina of Time and do the 3D Zelda games from going from then going forward. Of course, I would revisit some of the older ones later or in between, but I guess this is all just farting in the wind at this point. I'll talk more about it, but again, good game, want to play. Good game, still want to play. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where do I even start with the Legend of Zelda series? You know, that's the only game that Zack has ever suggested to me to LP. Is he said, you should do an LP of Ocarina of Time. And I was like, you dirty son of a bitch, why should I do that? And um, in modern times, I've always said to myself, I would love to do um, an Ocarina of Time 3DS playthrough. Of course, as we discussed earlier in this video, this requires me mailing my 3DS off to some kid in Bangladesh who wants to put a $200 computer chip into it so I can emulate games off of it. This is not worth it. So, um, I'd probably just stick to classical uh, Ocarina of Time. As a matter of fact, I own it on Virtual Console on my uh, Wii U. So, <sighs> maybe kids, maybe someday. And then, uh, what, I'd just continue on with the 3D series all the way to, uh, Skyward Sword. And they're, they're making that easier, too, because they just released, uh, Twilight Princess HD, which I hear was, a uh, what did pretty well as, uh, as far as remakes go. Um, so who knows? Maybe. That's a lot to take in. I don't know. Legend of Zelda series is always difficult to talk about because uh, I'm also still torn between the uh, it's done to death theory um, of too many people have LP'd it, so why should I do it? You know. And there you have it. I know Casification said to do 20 because I'm an ass for whatever, but at least I extended 16 for you kids. Now, sorry if this wasn't what you were expecting or anything. I actually plan to do more lists in the future, so stay tuned. This has been your host, as always, We Neil. See you next time. Ah, oh, gigantic picture of my stupid ass face. Oh, and then a bunch of my face and Stephen Colbert. Um.
so let's talk about uh the <laughs> see if I can blend myself in here. Like secret Asian man secret No, <laughs> so <laughs> that's here, I'll cover up Stephen Colbert. How about that? Uh will be fantastic. Why does it do this, like, letterboxing shit? I can't actually make myself wider without making myself taller. There we go. Because then this guy looks funny. Anyway, um, let's, uh, let's talk about that there finale, uh, kids. Uh, um, top five biggest nerfs ever. And then the guy with the ball... And I don't even know what this is. What is that? Even X more of the... Oh, Retsu Prey. Well, Retsu Prey is good. Fail Army. Okay. Now you're starting to see a little bit into my personal life. Huh? A little too much. Um, so... Uh, yeah. I feel like I'm being stared at by like 16 versions of me. Um, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this revisiting. Uh, and hope, hopefully my updated insight on a lot of these kind of cleared the air on some of them. I know that I don't normally do revisits, and this came out way longer way longer than I thought it would. Uh, but, you know, it's, a, it's I did the best I could with what I had. I just rewatched it, I gave my commentary. Maybe I talked a little too much. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe I feel nostalgic for vlogging. Look, in that thumbnail up there, up in the way corner, here, I'll just move myself so I can easily point to it. This asshole, Red Dead Redemption, and then Super Mario Galaxy 2. Fun times, I still have that rack right there. <laughs> Unfortunately, the top of it is no longer Red Dead Redemption and Super Mario Galaxy 2. I actually can't see what the games are on it, but... Where that Red Dead Redemption would be would be the Mega Man Anniversary Collection, which is kind of ironically on topic. So, um, maybe one day I will, uh, I will get my shit together and that doesn't do donkey dick, you ding dong. Here, just cover up all the stuff I don't get paid for. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about my old list. Uh, and the fact that I never released any more lists. Maybe I should get back on that. Maybe I should write some. Maybe I should do more vlogging stuff. How about that? How about we all sit down and fucking say that to me, right, don't we? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been your host, as usual, we knew. I kind of rambled a little too much in this, but hey, what else do you expect from me? Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Whenever I do whatever I'm doing, um, you can expect a, a some Fallout Four to come in your way this weekend or this uh, this next week. This is the weekend, but this, I don't I don't I don't know <laughs> I don't know my days. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs> this video was awful. Why did I even do this? Hey, we're back after the uh, after the credits at the end. Hey, let's look at some comments on this video, shall we? Visible Lizard said three years ago, which tells you how old this video is uh, on that uh, scale. Well, I don't know, but it's whatever you want to play, man. Uh, Macbethius, which was Caseification, the original person who told me to make this video, said, Dude, if you want a good, bad game, any Earth Defense Force. It's so bad, it's good. Uh... I've never heard of Earth Defense Force. I'm sorry. Unless you're talking about that old N64 game. Uh, Ratchet and Clank are one of my favorite games. I would suggest Sly Cooper. I love Sly Cooper. I've never played Sly Cooper. I do know of it, though. Um, never played any of them. Uh, the Mamba Warrior. I have World at War. I assume you mean Call of Duty World at War? That sounds familiar, right? HBNK1 said Minecraft and Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and Ma may buy Black Ops 1. Black Ops.
not gonna happen. I've never played Black Ops, but I don't intend to at any point. Sorry, H Man. I love you, but I can't condone to that request. And then, of course, Petonio saying, uh, Are you still gonna LP some of them? The very comment that made me revisit this video. Uh, so I hope this answers some questions. Anyway, uh, after the credits segment is done.